Hey, hey, welcome back. It is a freaky, fantastic Friday on Liquid Lunch. We usually come to you live every single day, noon to two Eastern, from the Question Tequila Studios in downtown Manhattan. But no, not today. We've taken the show on the road. We're in the Garden State. We're in Atlantic City, New Jersey, which is experiencing quite the resurgence. And my next two guests are a big part of why that is happening. Robert Heinrich and Heidi Kabalik join me now from Stockton University. Robert is the Chief Enrollment Officer. Heidi is with the Financial Aid Office. And, uh, you know, many great uh, years ago, I come from New York. And everybody over the years in Atlantic City historically is legendary. The boardwalk, the pier, the... You know, but after uh, Hurricane Sandy, it kind of had a real beatdown. Um, and there's this resurgence happening around here. You got the observation wheel, and now all of a sudden Stockton University comes into town, a campus, housing, all this other stuff, and those little seedlings are starting to sprout. You guys are a big part of that. Absolutely. What brought Stockton University um, to Atlantic City? So actually, Stockton started in Atlantic City uh, back in 1971. Uh, the Galloway campus uh, here in Atlantic County wasn't ready for us, uh, so we began on the boardwalk at the Mayflower Hotel. And in fall of 18, we're very happy to have opened up a new uh, branch campus, yep. uh, which includes an academic building, uh, a uh, parking garage, and a residential facility for 533 students you know, who are living right on the beach. Uh, while taking their classes. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Now, um, it is. you have living. to deal with all the parents, I assume. <laughs> of course. Uh, I have uh, one daughter who's a senior in college right now, and uh, she's at Wagner College in a nursing program. I know it's getting pretty steep these days for families to put their kids through a good college. Um, what are the things that people need to know to help themselves out. I, I, I get all these different, myself personally, I get all these emails, you could try for this grant, this thing, that thing, I, I get turned down for everything, but yes. what are the thing? I always try to teach our audience something. What do the people need to know out there to make their life maybe a little easier with financial aid? Well, of course, the first thing that uh, students should know is that they should apply very early. The FAFSA comes out in October. Uh, it uses income information that's two years old, so there's no reason why you don't have your financial uh, papers in order and ready to apply. I would follow up with your state, so if you're here in New Jersey, you need to follow up with our state authority. They have one of the most generous uh, grant programs in the country. However, they make their own eligibility determination, and so you have to follow up. But federally, federally what, what types of grants are like the simplest for people to get a yes-no answer on? Well, of course, when you file the FAFSA, they'll tell you immediately if you qualify for the federal grant. And so I'm sure you've heard that, no, you're not qualified. It's incredibly difficult nowadays, unfortunately, to qualify for grant funding. Uh, what I would suggest for middle-income families is look for ways to cut your overall college cost. Uh -huh. And so this is one of the areas where I think Stockton really excels. They offer a flat rate tuition, so you can take up to 20 credit hours for the same price as 12. Wow. In the summer, they do buy two classes, get one free. And so if you focus on doing 20 credits, 20 credits, 12, 20, 20, you can actually graduate in three years. And that shaves an entire year off of your cost. And according to this guy over here, at the same time, you can live right on the beach in beach beautiful Atlantic living. City. Yeah. That sounds we, amazing. We, and we have a lot of students that are taking advantage of a 12-month housing option. So live, learn, and earn. You know, they're working in the area where they have internships while taking classes. Tremendous. So. Um, I'm feeling like in the 2020 election, obviously healthcare is like one of the num number one pri priorities for our, you know, baby boomer base, right? You got 10,000 Americans every day turning 65. We have a tremendous retirement gap out there. Um, but at the same time, we have a lot of these Democratic candidates saying, hey, they want to pay off everyone's student loan debt and they want to give everyone free college. It seems like the millennials are buying into that. They want everything for free. You yeah. see more students now that are hoping to get free stuff? Like Their parents are usually paying. Actually, the younger borrowers are much more financially savvy. They're borrowing less money nowadays. The um, demographic that I think you'd be very surprised to know owns the majority of federal loan debt is age 35 to 50. Really? And then the next one is 50 plus. And those two age ah. groups owe over half of the 1.5 trillion. 
and sadly the 50 age group is growing their loan debt is actually growing because they're the parents they're the ones now who they are sending paid their theirs students off yet, they and paid now they're off. taking on more right multiple wow. children in college the only way to finance is through the federal plus loan so, which is a good loan program yeah, but i don't really think it's a good loan program i saw that and i was like you know i come from staten island new york and i see well they they boatload all the interest up front and then they kind of charge you interest on it over the four years and you don't have to start making payments till yes. you graduate but you're paying to me it seemed like you're paying interest on interest over the course of the loan and that's like mm -hmm. almost like loan shock there, when I see that. There is a 4% origination fee and interest does accrue while you're in school. Right. Um, payments aren't required, but we do really recommend if you make just a small payment while your student's in school, you'd really be surprised what your balance would be at the end. And then once they graduate, you can have your kitchen table agreement that uh, they're going to help you repay it so that you can go uh, off yeah. into retirement. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Robert, you're the Chief Enrollment Officer at the uh, Chief Enrollment Management Officer at Stockton. Uh, what, what's, the, what's the big thing that kids are coming in with? Like, what's the... What's the thing kids want to know most like about their college experience when they come to you? Well, I think most importantly, they want to know that there's going to be a career out there so that upon graduation, you know, there's a job um, for them. And one of the things that is unique about Stockton is we've partnered with many high schools and we now offer dual credit high school programs. That's so tremendous. they're they're getting, you know, college credit during their junior senior year at a reduced rate. That helps what Heidi was referencing earlier in terms of lowering their overall cost, the potential to graduate faster, uh, but then also you know, to get them ready for um, being in a major that they know that they want to be in that, that has the job. Uh, well, so we work very closely with them in terms of you know, getting internship placement and uh, you know, work experience while they're in school. It seems to me this batch of students right now, the seniors this year, um, and the next few years of seniors should be in a lot better position because Trump has been creating a tremendous amount of jobs. Yeah. So it seems there's a lot more jobs out there. But you guys, you get him in, he finds him, <laughs> you find him the money, and then there's some part of the school that also works with employers and alumni and stuff like that that tries to find these students as they're coming out steady work absolutely. on the other side of it so they can offset all the money they borrowed from Heidi. Yes, right? absolutely. You have yes. a serious operation out yep. there. Yes. And, and Stockton's in a growth trajectory. We actually have the, had the largest percentage of increase amongst all of the uh, colleges and universities in the state in fall of 19. Tremendous. All right, well, uh, when you're in the Garden State and you're in Atlantic City and you want to talk about college costs and student loan debt and all that stuff, uh, you can't ask for anybody best, better than Heidi Kabalik and Robert Heinrich from Stockton University. If you are thinking about uh, helping your kids or your grandkids find a college, check out Stockton University. What's the what's the website where you can find out? Stockton.edu. Go to Stockton.edu, and uh, you may be able to go to college and live right on the beach for 12 months a year. That sounds like a pretty darn good proposition. Good proposition is you stay right there, and uh, Mike Suleiman and Bill Cortez are going to be here right after this Democrat Republican mix it up in two minutes. <laughs>